What up? Tyler here with Tarver Academy. Night time. And if you could, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, that'd be dope. It's a little red button underneath the vid. No big deal. NBD. Whatevs. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Okay, so I wanted to give my take on everybody gets an award. This is something that people from the ages of 35 to 85 love to say. Back in my day, you got an award if you won. You got an award if you did this. You did this and that. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, that's true to them. They did get those awards. But then the way they do it is either their tone or they'll just flat out say, I don't think everybody should get an award. Everybody gets some more participation awards. No, I don't agree that we should give out just awards to everybody. But I want to give you my take as an educator who used to do you know, the award ceremony with the school, but then also my own award ceremony within my class. What we used to do was we'd have a day at the end of the year. It was usually like the last day before semester tests. So everybody was still there. The kids that like don't have to take semester tests and didn't miss very many days, they'd always fail right there. So it's like your last day when everyone's there. So what we used to do was everybody would dress nice. They'd be wearing uh, the suits, ties, button ups. Some would wear suspenders, dresses, just formal, formal outfits and what we called is we'd leave class with class and what I would do about three weeks before I would have everyone vote on different categories for awards and so yes we had like highest grade most improved we had all of those but then we also had some fun ones there was best hair which usually went to the dude who had the bangs and he's always like doesn't mean he had the best hair but you always notice because he's swooping and doing that swoop thing we had one called the Super Ninja Award, and I would go, all right, everybody, this award goes to the person. When you look around, you think to yourself, I have no idea what their voice sounds like. And they always look at the same kid, and that kid's just like. And so I would let them vote on those. Now, you know, some of those are just for fun. They're silly. I had some, I think it was like most likely to travel the world. You know, different, different categories. I tried to get a wide genre of things, and not every kid got something. Some kids got three or four if they had the traits of all of those. But I tried to cover enough ground, you know, most likely to be like the successful entrepreneur. You know, those are the kids that are like selling pencils and they didn't do their work, but they never wrote with their pencils, but they sold a lot of pencils, made some money. And so we, we throw out all these different categories. And I don't think every kid should get an award, but I am a big fan of expanding beyond highest grade, most improved. If those are the only two awards you give out, you're either encouraging kids to try to be the best one, which there's usually a kid that no matter how hard you try, there's some kid in class who's just, they work hard and they're smart, so it's like, they're, like you can only work so hard to get up to a 97, this kid's gonna pull out a 99, 100 every time. Most improved, what you're encouraging kids to do is tank the first nine weeks, and then, oh, do well the second, third nine weeks, and you'll bring it up, because if you go from like a 12%, to 65 percent ain't nobody's going to be able to go above a 43 point increase so you're going to get most improved so what i always encourage give it a multitude of awards but give a wide variety of awards the reason is people get rewarded in the world for a lot of different things some people are the best actors actors now some get it for sign nobel peace prize they bring peace to areas they win something because they do something that unifies the world you know, you get science, uh, you get scholarships for academic awards, you get scholarships for being involved. You get, you can get so many different awards throughout life that are legitimate awards based on criteria that is not measured on highest grade or grade that goes up the most. I know academics are a key part of education, but there's so much more that we, we, we preach and we teach to students. We want them to be good people be helpful to their classmates. We want them to cooperate, we want them to be leaders. We, we push all these skills. You know, say yes sir, say no ma'am. Yes ma'am, no sir. I don't know why I switched those weird. We want to encourage all these things in the class, but then we don't reward it whenever people, whenever students do, we just expect it. I think it's always good to award, reward that or put awards on that to encourage students and, and call out their successes even if they're not a grade point or the grade for that class. And so when we do that, all we do is build self-confidence and put value in those things that almost always produce something of value later in life. And so no, not every kid should get an award just for showing up. 
unless it's like best attendance award, which is very good. You want people that are reliable in the workplace. That's good. However, if you give awards for you know different things, different skill sets that don't apply just to how they do in your course for that curriculum that you delivered, there are many ways to show confidence and build value in students at every age group. And I think the more we do that, that it's actually applicable to the skill sets that they have or the things that they're improving or working on, I think that's a big deal. So for that kid that started the year, arms crossed, not paying attention, wouldn't look at the board, but by the end of the year, they're helping their peers, that's something we should reward. That's something that is a value. And we wanna call out and say, hey, you went from here to here with regards to how you approached the class. No, you weren't the highest grade. No, your grade wasn't terrible and you pulled it up to a medium grade. But your attitude was a big deal. Reward that. Oh, give an award for that. That's that's what I think you should do. That's, that's where I think we should place value is in the specific things that students are doing that relate to that student. No, green ribbons for everybody. Hey, everybody, thanks for being in my class. Randomly selected to be in my class this year. No, but for awards, a multitude of awards that value the specific traits that students have or they've built within your class or that they've developed through that year, let's honor that. Thanks for tuning in. I know it's a long one, but you stuck in. You did great. If you're with me this long, might as well subscribe. You know, that's, that's its own award. I'm sorry, that was dumb. Thank you guys. Be good. Peace. Hey, what's up? If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. I'm just gonna wait right here. Look at this lighting, oh wow.